Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Threads of Fate on the PlayStation Network. The last time we uh, spent a very long amount of time in Maya's Tower, and then had the truth revealed about our origins to us, which is basically that we're, uh, well, we're basically a puppet to bring back uh, Valen back to life, and we're gonna defy our destiny against all odds because we're a JRPG character, so why not? Sounds good to me. Um, off screen, uh, I didn't do a whole lot, but I kind of did. Um, since I got the final piece of legendary equipment, I went ahead and sold it to the uh, barkeep there. So now I don't have them in my inventory anymore. And I went ahead and used them all on the uh, on the polylog soufflés. So now I have a nice meaty 57 attack. A little overpowered? Sure. Why not? Do I care? Not really. I like being overpowered. It's a good thing. And uh, I have a few extra polylogs to sell and some stuff like that. So I'll sell these at some point. Uh, I just want to make sure we don't need them for money or anything. I was I was thinking that we'd probably need them for uh, collecting the dragon uh, orb ball things for uh, for Rod, but after, I'm not sure if we're gonna need them actually. So I don't know if we're actually gonna need them. But yeah, apparent I, I forgot that you get the platinum coin also after uh, after um, what is it? Uh, uh, Oh yeah, using the last uh, dish right there. And apparently the Platinum Coin does give plus, like, permanent plus, uh, either plus one or plus two to attack and defense when you use it, but I guess you can only use it twice. So, I was going to sell it for the 15,000 gold that it gives you, or however many gold it gives you, but then I realized I'll just hang on to it, get the stat boost real quick, and sell the other stuff, like, uh, silver, gold, and star stones right there. So, let's go get rid of these, and then we'll check to see if there's any, uh, upgrades, because I didn't check that yet. So let's sell all this crap. I care less about... There we go. So let's sell this. There we go. And get rid of silver coin. There we go. Nice, easy 36 grand. Which, I think you, I think they wanted 36 grand the last time, uh... The last time they, uh... What was it? We needed to buy the orbs or whatever. But, like I said, I don't think we're actually going to need to do that as Rod, unless they just totally screw the, uh, screw with the events of the last, of a uh, Mint's playthrough, which I don't think they'll do, because something very specific happened in there, and so I'm thinking they're going to keep it that way, and we're not going to have to, uh, we're not going to have to actually use that 30 grand for that. I wasn't trying to go in there, I was just mashing the, the ground to see if there was any, uh, whatchamacallit, any coins on the ground, but... Nope, I'm not seeing anything. Alright, so... I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to be going right now. I don't think we go straight to the, uh... I don't think we go straight to the Fallon's Relic, obviously. We obviously have a few things we have to do. Um... Uh, let's make sure you don't have... Wait, you're not... Eh, you're the wrong person. Um... Uh, ah, screw it. We'll talk to these guys. Yeah, it's a combination of everybody's fault. Everybody went after the Relic, and... We're the ones that bribed you to get the uh, doll up and running. Oh, actually, okay, we have to go talk to Mel, okay. I thought we were going to, like, have a meeting with, uh, Belle and Duke and all them other peoples. But I guess not, so... That's easy enough. Um, I want to make sure there's no coins laying around on the ground. I don't think there are, but... Oh, well. We should have the final, the final upgrades over here. There we go. And you know what? I'm just gonna get the belt for right now, just in case we do need that 30 grand. I mean, not that, not that 5,000 bucks is really hard that that hard to come by, but just just in case, that way I don't gotta farm anything. And plus, I could probably use the defense a little more than the attack right now, just because I have a little extra attack for some odd reason. I'm not particularly sure why I have a little extra attack, but hey, it happens. So it happens. So we're in the home stretch. Actually, we're going to be finished pretty quickly, and I got to say, Rue's playthrough went by pretty fast. I mean, it didn't it didn't have the it didn't have really annoying bosses like Mint, like uh, like the uh, what should I call it the the fish dude, and Cycle Master was a chump since we already knew what to do. I actually liked the uh, Rue's bosses. I liked the book guy, and I liked uh, who was the other guy? Um, well, the book guy is standing out to me because we fought him last episode. But yeah, I'm, I liked him. He was pretty fun. 
Okay, let's do something... let's see. Uh, okay, let's go to Mel's place, but first I want to try something here. Okay, uh... Ah, screw it. Let's just go to Mel's. I was going to try to use the Platinum Coin right now, just to get killed and see if it actually gave me the boost, but eh, if I die in the... if I die in the uh, area coming up or whatever, then we'll be good to go. We'll just use it there. And also, luckily, I'll know how to get through that area once we get there, instead of having to figure out what to do with flames and crap for an hour. I might get lost on the maze part, obviously, but the rest of it should be easy enough. So I'm thinking this episode, and maybe two more, maybe one more, so two or three episodes left. Yeah, pretty much. She's psychic. Well, we could turn into like one of your little uh, bat things you got going on there. Well, we have the ability to fly if we copy it from somebody, but... Uh, okay, so yeah, we actually... Okay, so... Okay, so we just gotta go kick Wylaf's butt real quick. No prob, Bob. No prob. We can do this. If I can find the front door. There we go. Well, that'll be easy enough. Especially with our new and improved uh, attacking powers. There's not anything... Okay, that looked like a weird bush for some reason. I don't know why, it just looked kind of odd. We should only take like two or three minutes to get up there. Yeah, we can leave it in. It's not going to take that long to get up there. Hey, you little bastards. Come here, you fucks. Alright. Now I can transform into you if I need to, which I probably won't, but yeah, it'll be nice if I need to. Why did I come down here? I don't know why I came down here. You jump. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, you son of a bitch. Where is that fat bastard? There he is. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like uh, the enemy's attack power really gets upgraded when your attack power gets upgraded through. Seems like they have a more or less a set attack power. So let's see, that's doing 50-ish damage to them. Let's let's see how much uh, Bubba does to these guys. Yeah, yeah, like 40. So doesn't seem like it's really upgrading uh, the damage all that much as monsters, which is fine. Gives you more reason to play as the Rue, but then it gives you less reason to play as the monsters. Go away, dudes. I don't I don't like you guys. And now I got your coins again, since you guys can't fuck off for five minutes while I try to get past your asses, you sons of bitches. Um uh, Okay, it's a good thing we showed this on camera, because apparently this is where we fight Trapmaster. Okay, that works. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we know you're a chump, not a champ, so it really shouldn't be too much of a problem. So this means you'll actually have a life bar for me to for me to clobber this time? Fantastic. I was expecting to fight him over in, uh... in, uh, whatchamacallit, Maya's Tower, but I guess they decided not to do that. And wow, he's going down mega fast since I got a nice fat chunk of... ...attack power here. Wow, that was pathetically easy. I like it. Wow, that, that took like 30 seconds.
Actually, this is the uh, second time you lost. Uh, just don't kill me in the process, and I'm good. I mean, if you want to blow yourself up, no problem. I'm all, I'm all for the sapaku and shit. Just uh, don't drag me down with you. You and your bluffs. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. Well, he accepts defeat reasonably gracefully. Oh, uh, thanks for thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. Makes my life easy if I uh, know what's coming. Well, he's actually being helpful. That's kind of odd, but oh well, it works. I wasn't expecting him to straight up tell me that the another boss would be up here, but I guess that's uh, very courteous of him, if I can. I don't want this coin, so go fuck yourself, coin. I mean, I barely wanted the coins I got from the area. And how come we couldn't turn into the uh, dark polywog? I mean, it's just basically a palette swap of the original polywog, so I don't get why we can't transform into it. I mean, even if it's just the same stats and just a different color, that'd be still pretty nice. Hey, and it's mode clear. By exotic clear, you mean like a clear in a bikini, something like that? Nah, I'm good. I'd rather just uh, club him over the head with my sword axe. What is this? What is his weapon called, anyways? I guess it kind of is more of an axe than a, uh, a sword. Now that I think about it. Did we fight her in, uh... I don't think we fought her in Mint's story. If we did, I don't I don't remember. And, okay, I'm the guy over to the right. Okay. I wonder if he's just transforming into the uh, monsters that we have available. Yeah, this is pathetically easy. Who the... Who the... What was that, uh, bear thing you turned into? It looks like one of the bosses we fought, but I couldn't recognize it because I killed it too fast. Well, he was actually about to finish her off. I like you, Rue. I really do. So if she hadn't turned into Claire, then he would have offed her. At least he has balls. I'll give him that. Eh, yeah, Dollmaster's old and used and abused. All his power's gone and stuff, so he doesn't stand a chance anymore. Are they gonna? They're not gonna make me fight him right here, right? They're probably gonna wait till after we get up to. Uh... Oh, go screw yourself! Until um, after we get up to uh... the tower, which is fine by me, I guess. Fucker, go screw yourself! And where does this fucking wind come from, anyways? Is, is it why laugh snoring or something? I mean, that could kind of be... Ah, you fucker! You better not... You son of a fucking wind pile of shit! Dude, go fuck yourself, for one. And for two, go fuck yourself. Alright. I don't get why it's just on that one screen, too. I mean... It would be a lot more irritating if it was on more screens than just that one, I mean, which is good that it's not on more screens, and for some reason that recovered me to 153 out of 154 HP, it's kinda odd, but, okay. But yeah, the wind would be a lot more annoying if it was, like, up here, too, so, okay. Somebody hit me so I can see if it's gonna recover the rest of my health. Or that works, too.
Here, clobber me real quick, thank you. Now, are you gonna... Okay, I guess it considers 1 HP to be close enough. What about 2 HP? Yeah, I don't even care. Screw it. We gotta get up to a uh, while after. What are those guys called, anyways? Just dark polywogs? Uh, let's see, where are you guys? Do I even have a coin for them? Uh, let's see, you guys are... Are they just counting these guys as polylogs? Let me, let me check real quick, let me, let me just find out. Okay, cover you, because, okay, I have eight, so if I kill those three and I have eleven, then... That's... so they're just a... son of a bitch. So they're just... Polywogs with a skin swap, literally, and they're not gonna give them a different name or nothing. You son of a bitch. I'm gonna murder you. You faggoty little shit. I will hurt you with the passion. Get jump. There you go. Take it. And these guys aren't very, very big on giving health, are they? Yeah, there we go. Close enough. Yep, they're just polywoggers, I guess. I thought they were, like, had a different name, at least. But I knew they were similar, but I didn't realize they were clones. Hey, you're very perceptive for a old fart who lives on a mountain. Wait, you're just gonna give it to me? You're not gonna make me kick your ass or anything? Uh, yeah, kinda. Well, it would be nice if you, uh, kicked my ass and then gave me the wings, but... Okay, this works too. Yeah, but you care more about Claire than uh, Dollmaster and Valen, right? Didn't you resist him at some point, though? I'm glad somebody believes in, who believes in you. hearts, kind of, I guess. Does he have a heart, or is he just like a doll of, like, plastic? Or does he like a flesh and blood doll type of thing? Well, he kind of is a puppet in the first place, you know? Since that's what he was created to be. I thought we were gonna uh, like have a fight or something, but I guess he wanted to take it easy on us. Okay, that works. So we're, we don't have to use our thirty thousand gold for anything. Okay, so okay, let's grab some uh, moolah before we head out, or some uh, upgrades, I guess I should say. I didn't realize they had all these up here. Oh, okay, that helps. And it's a good thing I had money left. And now we still have enough money for, eh, let's say three more defense upgrades, why not? Yeah, we could use some defense.
Yeah, let's keep the coin. Why not? We could use it. There we go. We're good to go. So let's save up and we'll be on our way. Yeah, it's only 20 minutes. We can we can probably make it through most of the uh, tower or whatever cutscenes they got planned for us in 10 minutes or so. I think I think Rue's uh, Rue's story has gone by faster than Mint's. But then again, I think that's mainly because we actually know know what I'm doing this time, so that kind of helps. So let's see. Uh, how far was I at the end of Mint's? I think I think Mint's is like 15 hours, something like that. And I think about an hour of this was from me standing around earlier today. So eight hours ish. Plus, let's say another two hours to go through the final area and beat the boss, so about 10 hours, 11 hours, tops. Are you gonna come with me? Are you gonna make my uh, journey more fun again? Well, she sure is getting kinda up close and personal. Ooh, pumpkin pie. That sounds good, actually. Uh, you guys ever had the pumpkin pie shake from Jack in the Box? Oh, that stuff is good. It really does taste like a pumpkin pie in, like, shake form, and it's, oh, it's so delicious. The only problem is they only serve it from, like, October to December, I think. Well, if things don't work out with Claire, at least he has, a uh, cute little Elena for him back in, uh, Corona Village, so... That's what I would do. You sure you don't want to come with us? Uh, no, you already got a ride. Yeah, pretty much we are going to. Hey, what about your... Well, there we go. Good job. I was about to say, they're going to totally uh, invalidate the uh, collection of the dragon orbs we had to do on her quest, but good, at least he knocks her off. That's nice. I like that. So that would have just made me feel like we didn't do jack shit as a uh, mint. Hey, it's Primadol. So wait, if you can only use the dragon wings once, how do you plan on getting out of here? I don't think we have uh, the Cheshire Cat in our inventory, so we can't shock you back to life. Hey, that's right, we didn't go through the uh, assault on the town as Rue, did we? Huh, so... Huh, I, I totally forgot about that. Well, yeah, that kind of happens when you think everything you know about yourself is a complete lie. It's like, hey, my name is Mike, and then really, now your name's Tom, and this is your backstory, and yeah, fuck you, that's the truth, whether you like it or not. So you're pretty much just accepting after a little bit. And he goes back into cube form to conserve energy. You know, instead of leaving the cube there, I mean, you have infinite space in your pockets, so why not just take it with you? Okay, I'm still going to be lost in this damn place, I'll tell you guys that right now. I just hope I'm a little less lost than I was as Mint. Hey, it's uh, that guy. And we can't turn into you, that's kind of screwy. And can I even reach you? I don't think I can. Do I even have anything that'll reach you? Uh, let's try you, bubs. There you go. Oh, I want the, uh... I want your... I really want your little medallion, but... Okay, that's not gonna work, obviously. Okay, you're dead. And I want your medallion, but that's not the way it works, I guess.
Hey, these chumps. I haven't transformed into these guys forever. Especially since I learned they couldn't actually fly and just do a gimpy double jump. Okay, if I don't even gotta kill you guys, I'm just gonna ignore you. Okay, that works. Are you guys are you stronger? No, you're the same you're the same gargoyle. I thought you might be like a stronger version of it, so I was gonna see if you're any better, but I don't think you are any better. Not what I was trying to do. Are they actually gonna make me kill those little dragon things before I can go anywhere? Yeah, it's possible. You're not on there. I want to transform into this uh, loose bear hippo thing right there, but obviously they're not letting me transform into the fun stuff like this little velociraptor inside here. I mean, they, I see the coin. I mean, the coin is right there. They're just not going to let me. Not going to let me do it for some reason. Which is really screwy in my opinion, but... Um, hang on, I was trying to go in there. Oh wow, we're one-shotting these fuckers. That's one way to do it, I guess. Okay, um... Don't take that. Okay, okay. One of these has a further along, uh, oh, okay. I was gonna say one of these had a path further along, we can go on there, but I guess not. Um, you wanna open that thing up? There we go. I think you wanna get the coin for this, right? So. It doesn't matter how badly you do on time, just so long as you make it across. If I even bother making it across. Okay, come on, we can do it. There we go, I know we can do it. Did that heal my HP too? That works. Alright, Arena 2 out of, I think it was 4, right? Ooh, good, we do have access to this guy. I wanna, I wanna try him out, Mr. Shalomon. Okay, ooh, does that say Thunder? Ooh, nice. Nope, I wanna turn into you. There we go. Nice, I like it. And you're more of a dashy type. Okay, that's nice. Oh, the dash does damage. Okay, that's nice. Uh, Fire Blob, I don't care about you, so... Stay out of my way. Ah, oh, fine. What did I lose? I don't even care. Okay, you're not very strong, though. You're fast as a motherfucker, but not really all that strong. And apparently not very jumpy, either. Okay, apparently this doesn't really serve. Oh wait, it's yellow, so we might try lightning bolting it. No. Okay, that's not going to do anything apparently. You think I would remember this from when I was here the first time, but. Yeah, I don't. And you guys told me that there was actually like a hint as to what to do, like on the ground, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot of them. So, there's that. Okay, so, I'm not seeing anything on the ground here. If I am, I'm missing it.
Okay, uh... Yeah, if there's clues on the ground, I'm really not seeing it. I thought earlier that the arrangement of the uh, patterns on there would mean something, but they're all in the same pattern, I think, so that doesn't really help out much. And am I in a dead end? I think I am. Okay. Oh, that's why. And we got the Pat Man back. And again, there's no patterns on the ground that I can see, at least. So, if, if I'm missing something, just tell me and I'll finish recording by the time you guys tell me and it won't really matter anyways, but still. Okay, that's not going to do anything for some reason. Alright, uh, where are we? We are... Little bastard, die. Okay, there's got to be something to this thing that I'm just not seeing here, so... I mean, I'm attacking it. Uh, let's, try, let's try destroying it. Oh, there we go. Okay, that helps. I, I kind of... I wish there was, like, more markers. More easily distinguishable markers saying, Hey, you're on this, uh, this section of the area right here, so... You're close to the end of this area, but... No, they want to make things all nice and cryptic-like. Okay, so... Am I gonna go... I'm trying to figure out which one I'm trying to go to here. Uh, let's see, that's... Sure, let's go to the one up here, why not? If it's the right way, awesome. If it's not, well, a little less awesome. Okay, there we go. I think we're going the right way, because we have to melt this thing with fire. Okay, and it's not doing a very good job of melting. There we go. That took a lot of MP to do that. Don't you dare push me back in there. Alright, we gotta be close to the end now. Or the end of the second arena right here. Gotta be almost there. Okay, yeah, I think we are, because I don't remember this particular block being here. There we go. And yeah, why did that one only take one fire eruption and then the other one took like nine? Ooh, uh, the Cerberus doggy thing. Hellhound. Ooh, nice. He has a he has a combo attack. Okay. So we got We got ice. And then we got flamethrower. Very nice. I like that. I really like that. You gonna let me up there, bud? No? Okay. None of these are you know oh okay. That's why it's not gonna let me up. I was about to say none of these are cooperating at all. Why is that all oh, oh you gotta put it out, okay. I guess the only reason they uh had you go through all that is just to get to the uh, fire, uh, the ice power right here, I guess. Which is fine, I guess. At least now you have fire and ice for the next uh, area after this. Okay, 
Okay, you know what? Where is my... I don't have the gargoyle, do I? Oh well. Fuck. Stand still. You son of a bitch. There we go, that was nice and easy. Yeah, I'm never gonna get a very good score on these things. Platforming is not my forte, and especially not with the uh, bastard controls. Okay, you know what? Let's try going this way. Okay, sure. Why not? Okay, it looks like it might be the right way since I summoned all these fuckers. Or it's just a recovery point. That works too, I guess. Even though I had mostly full health. Hey, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's uh, this guy. I remember this guy. You got anything good? Ooh, tornado, and a 12 whirl, and a double jump, okay. You, you're like a, a demon with like a slinky. Why you got a slinky? I don't know, but I like your little whirl attack. And your whatever your whirlwind attack is. I think that's the first wind attack we've had as Rue for like the game. And that didn't take me where I wanted to go. Or did it? I can't tell. Again, I'm not seeing these hints on the ground that you guys are telling me about, because, well, I'm not seeing them just at all. I feel like I'm going in circles here, which is always a possibility. You know what's weird? The uh, X, the X attack, and the triangle attack don't really do a whole lot of different like damage-wise. So I don't even know why they have two different attacks. I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the point is since they're. Well, pretty much the same damage-wise and stuff. So, if there's a reason for having two attacks, then let me know, because I don't really see the point. I mean, not that it's not kind of useful, but they just doesn't seem all that useful. But I guess if you want to... I guess if you want to mix up the uh, attack animation, you know, do a half swing like that instead of a quick combo, then I guess that works, but there's no real practical use for it as far as I can tell. And where am I? I was ready here, wasn't I? Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. I thought you were gonna spit fire. Ah, okay, okay, you were gonna spit fire at me. You were just being tricky about it. You son of a bitch. Damn it. Okay. Uh, fire be gone. Fire be gone. And fire be gone. And fire be gone. And yes, we made it. That was easy. And I think we should be almost at the end of the maze area, right? I think. Or not. You know what? Uh, we're going to go through uh, Arena 4 next time. And then hopefully uh, we'll get a lot done next time. So guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.